Uh, let's go for five. So this right here, and I'll show you in a second, is about 18, 20 grams of protein. We don't need to worry about it too much, but just so you think. So there is approximately 20 grams, 18, 20 grams of protein from our egg whites. Now, following the example of the 180 pound man I gave earlier, we need to add a little bit more protein to this to bring him up to his meal requirement of let's say 45 grams, which, okay, he's on a little bit of the bigger side, but at least you can work back according to your requirement of protein and calories. 20 grams, we need to double that. Now I could use four or five more egg whites, but I'm gonna use a scoop of this vanilla protein here. This is the great thing about using a blender or a mixer. Just throw everything in, blend it and mix it. Nice, quick and easy. Okay, protein. We got about 40 grams of protein in there. We need some carbohydrates. Where are we gonna get them from? Well, I said about the same ratio of proteins and carbs each meal a little bit higher in the morning. So based on that, let's say 50 grams of oats. Again, this is working more towards the higher end of the scale for those who want to build on their bodies and add a little bit more muscle. And this just allows you to be able to work back and say, okay, well, I'm not 180 pounds. I don't want to get bigger. So instead of 40 grams of protein, I'm going to half it and use 20 or 30 grams instead of thinking, okay, I need to do more. Use the same scoop. Oats are a fantastic source of complex carbohydrates. Uh, contain a good mix of soluble and in insoluble fiber, both of which the body needs, and we'll talk about that later. One scoop, two scoop. Now, oats, if you really want to take it to the next level, you may want to put your serving portion in like a Tupperware box, soak it in warm water, and either keep it at room temperature or I put it in the fridge overnight so that in the morning, the oats have actually soaked up and absorbed a lot of the water, which will help break down the starchiness in the oats. What does that do? Well, other than making a more fluffier porridge oats if you cook them on the stove, it actually allows your body to absorb the carbohydrates far quicker than it does breaking them down. So I'm going to put two scoops in there. And you can add some sweetener in there, some splendor, if you want to add to taste. But give it a try first and see how it goes. I'm going to add one more thing in there. So it's a bit of a, a special treat. These kakawa. What are these? Well, if you like chocolate, you're gonna love these. These are what are known as a super antioxidant food. High in fiber. Again, great for the body and the digestive system. And they add a chocolate-like taste without adding all the calories and the sugars. I'm just gonna put a small, just half a uh, cup size in there just so I've got like a chocolate vanilla protein pancake. I mean, come on guys, you don't, you don't get better than that. You, don't, you can't even go to IHOP, International House of Pancakes, and get something that tastes better than that with anywhere near as good nutrition. Who said eating clean and healthy couldn't be fun? Okay, it's not fun, but it still doesn't mean you have to eat chicken and broccoli every meal. Screw it on. Just give it a shake to get all the ingredients down from the top. This is like an infomercial here, but it really is as simple as five seconds down. Okay, a little bit longer than five seconds, but just to make sure. Now, you probably can't see it there, but now we have this thick, mixture of, looks like a milkshake, a malt milkshake. Oh, it smells delicious too. How are we gonna cook this? Well, there's a number of ways. I like to use a uh, non-stick frying pan and cook it on the top of the hob here. Now, whilst you could use the non-stick or a Teflon pan without putting anything in, I would recommend adding one thing. 